I used to come in probably with a hangover every now and then. And uh, Yogi, I go to Yogi. Yogi, I, I ate too much candy. I don't feel well. You're playing. I played 161 ball games. Kept me in there every day. And that's the year I hit 100 RBIs. You know, I had 28 home runs. Yogi, this is my, 1964. This is my cousin. So uh, Yogi was my guy. Yeah. He, he believed in me. He took. He kept me in there against left handers. He just made me play every day. Yeah. My father died when he was 39 years old. Right. And once he was gone, I, I was on my own, you know. And uh, my mother really took care of me, but she couldn't handle me like he could. You know, he'd just give me a look, and I knew when to shut up. The, the but, you know, so, but just, you know, just, just that was a big, big thing in my life. My father passed away, I but I just, when I went away, instead of being depressed, I was very depressed when my father died. As a matter of fact, my friends had my mother had to call my friends in to come and drag me out of the house and take me to Coney Island and have a hot dog. You know, I see uh, all the ball players, and there was a, a, a uniform and there was a locker. Uh, there was uh, a, a player was missing. Joe Pepitone was missing <laughs> from the Yankees. I don't know if you remember this. Sorry. In '69, uh, Ralph was your manager, and you uh, went out fishing for four days. And they didn't know where you were. You remember that? Do I yes, remember that? I didn't remember when I was gone. <laughs> Don't let me get into that, please. I remember coming up. Yes, I remember that. Johnny, who's the manager at the time? Jordan? No, it was Ralph. 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 It was Ralph. Ralph, 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 Ralph. right. Of course, my father had just passed away. My father just passed away, so my mother would do anything for me. So, without a license, I went out with my mother. No, I, I saw this... Uh, 1958 Thunderbird. Go, no, wait, I want the car. That's it, I want the car. So $4,000 cash, brand new Thunderbird. I was 19 years old when I was, I was so excited to see him, but he didn't show up for the game. I was so excited. Hey, Joe, uh, growing up in Brooklyn, were you a Yankee fan when you were growing up watching baseball? Oh yeah, my whole family. My uncle, uh, uh, who taught me a lot about the game, uh, matter of fact, used to take me to tryouts. I was like 15 years old, going to tryouts, and we were lying my age, lying about my age, and we go all over for tryouts. But uh, he he was the one that taught me everything. He, he, I mean, he would talk, my backyard had all holes and bumps and this and that, and um, he would just fly a ground ball at me. And if I didn't stand in front of him, he'd come over and just give me a bunch of yarn, a little black and blue on a lake, you know. <laughs> And he said, then he would tell me right after he did that, go tell your father. <laughs> but, you know, but the, he made me, he made me really, he really told me about the game. He was a real great stickball player. And, uh, and he was just my, uh, my idol. He was about, well, he's my mother's brother, but he's just like, uh, just a young guy, really uh, high on the game of baseball. And a big Yankee fan, and reason you know the Dodgers were offered me offered me much much more money, yeah. but uh, being that my my family was uh, Yankee fans, I signed with the Yankees. So you played for the Yankees, you played for the Astros for a hot minute, the Cubs. Uh, what was it like playing in Japan? None of your business. Uh, okay, <laughs> there you have it, folks. <laughs> I didn't get along too well Japan at the time. And uh, I went there, and I was the only American on the club. Every every team down there had two Americans on it. Uh, I got stuck with a Spanish guy who spoke nothing but Spanish. Oh, really? You know? So, But it's just that it, it was just so tough. You know, in the first game, uh, I got in as a pinch hitter, and I won a ball game from with a, with a double. It uh, scored a winning run. Question. Who were the top, you would say, five hitters of your era? I don't remember five hitters of my era. I named three. I'm and old. Three. <laughs> the best, when I came up, my I idol, my, my idol, right, right, was Al Kaline. Al Kaline. Oh, okay. Al is the best all-around ball player, one of the best I've ever seen. He could do everything. He knew how to run on the bases. He could throw. He could field. He could hit. He was a rookie of the year in his first year, and he MVP. Think about it. Yeah, wow. But, uh, you know, him, you have to see him age play a lot. I just see him just go by the records and everything. He was the best of all time. Even Mandel said that. Even Mandel said that. Best ball player ever. Okay, man. And I believe him. 
And looking back now, what you know now and how you played, you played with Yogi, Roger Maris, Whitey Ford, Mickey Mantle, DiMaggio. What are your fondest memories or what sticks out the most or what was just something that just, I don't know. I survived. <laughs> yes, you survived. <laughs> God, you survived. <laughs> no, let me tell you what I remember. I remember playing first base and turning around and look at Yankee Stadium and the greatest ball players to ever put, put on a baseball uniform. Right. That's what I remember. I remember like the chills I used to get mm -hmm. my first few times up at Yankee Stadium, my first time up at bat. I, I, I was dying and I, I just wanted to see one pitch. After that first pitch, for the rest of my career, I, I wasn't afraid anymore. It was it was just exciting. It's just a thing that you dream of, you know. And and, and but I, I my dreams my dreams didn't consist of mantling all those guys. All of a sudden, here they were. You know, you keep looking. You gotta stop looking down. You gotta look at me. <laughs> I think it is. You gotta cover your eyes. Laugh at eyes. Contact, Natalie. You're beautiful. Make eye contact with Joe. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm looking at you. Joe and Joe DiMaggio paid you the biggest compliment that you had the, the all the tools to be an incredible player. What Who? Joe Di, Joe D. Joe DiMaggio. Oh, Joe's my man. Joe, I, I always said Joe's one of the main guys that got me to the major leagues. He would, uh, he, I mean, he really took me aside. He really liked me, you know, and he wasn't that way with anybody. And I'll tell you one thing about Joe D. He, he used to like to fish and he called me up. And I, we used to stay in the Yankee Stadium Motor Lodge right across the street from the Yankee Clipper. So I go up and I knock on the door and Malma no answers. Wow. She's got a white terry clerk robe on and, and a white look. towel around her head. And she looked, Joe. And she says, I says, hello. She says, she says I'm Marilyn. I said, oh, I know. You're Marilyn. She says, come on in. Joe, be right out. He's taking a shower. And I went in there and I like, <laughs> and I heard him say, and he yelled out, Joe, I'll be right there. And I says, take your time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. oh, no, Joe, being, Italian, being an Italian, do you call it sauce or gravy? Yeah. Mozzarella. Oh, mozzarella. What? You call it sauce I, or gravy? Sunday I, sauce. I, wait a minute. What is it? Yeah, sauce? I mean, sauce. what do you make? Sauce, of course. Sauce. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. But you know what? But my, aunt, my, aunt, in my family, my aunt called it gravy. My mother called it sauce. Difficult question. Oh. It, 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 you know, you Why would you ask a question like that? 